I'm Olivia, and this is my story about living with a literal devil. Before I continue, please like and subscribe. Ever since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with space, the planets, and the stars. When I was 10, I painted the Milky Way all over my bedroom walls. Look, Mom, doesn't it look amazing? Ew, it looks like a bird pooped all over a blue wall. You're such a geek. At least it's better than having a pea-sized brain. You take that back. Evelyn pounced on me, and the two of us fought like wild pigs till Mom separated us. In case you're wondering who Evelyn is, she's my sister. A monster, a witch, and a literal devil. Did I say that already? Even though she's two years older, we're in the same class because Evelyn failed the second grade twice, and I never let her forget that. Nor did Dad. He was a world-renowned mathematician and tried his best to make Evelyn smarter, but it was mission impossible. Give me three examples of solid, liquid, and gas states. Poop, pee, fart. Nailed it! See what I mean? I, on the other hand, was a brilliant student, always making Dad proud. Evelyn and I never got along, but things got worse when Mom started dragging her off to beauty pageants and acting classes. And at 13, she got the lead on a hit TV show. Evelyn became famous overnight and turned into a self-absorbed diva. Even at school, she constantly threw tantrums and treated everyone like her personal assistant. This milkshake is trash. I said no sugar. Get me a new one. Are you going to a hideous skirt convention after school? Have fun, but do my homework before you leave. She was horrible, but people still loved her because she was famous. She had no time to study and failed more classes, which made Dad matter at Mom. Evelyn's on a mission to destroy her own future, and it's your fault for pushing her into this stupid career. But she's good at what she does. Not many girls her age are this famous, and once her looks are gone, what will she have to fall back on? Nothing. Pull her out of this glam business before she becomes a total lost cause. The more Dad tried getting Evelyn to study, the more rebellious she got, <laughs> until eventually he gave up. On my 15th birthday, Dad got me a top-of-the-line telescope, and I wanted to test it out immediately, so I rushed to the rooftop. As I was setting it up, I saw someone lurking in the shadows. I immediately picked up a broom lying nearby. Whoever you are, know that I'm armed and I can do some serious damage! Just then a boy my age appeared, and I smacked his face with the broom, and he fell down. Who are you? What do you want? I, uh, I'm Nolan, your new neighbor. I come in peace. I just wanted to watch this meteor shower. Don't you have a roof at your house? The view here is much better. Oh, wow, how cool is that telescope? Can I see it? Nolan and I quickly became friends. He was a space nerd like me, not to mention a total hottie. We hung out every day for hours, and maybe I even developed a teeny tiny crush on Nolan. Then one time, Nolan and I were chilling in our front lawn when Evelyn showed up, threw a drink in Nolan's face, and shoved me into the mud. Evelyn, have you lost your mind? Shut up, Quasimodo. My mind is just fine. It's that jerk that's gone crazy. He is blind and dumb as a rock, and I don't like his stupid face. Evelyn ran away, and I was totally confused until Nolan explained. I saw your sister yesterday at the mall. She spoke to me for a bit and then asked me out. She did what? Yeah, but I told her I wasn't interested. I think that's why she's acting out. Evelyn was never pleasant to me, but this time she'd gone too far. I went in to confront her, but Mom stopped me. Sweetie, please. Evelyn told me about how she behaved. She just had a really tough day. Give her a break. She'll be better tomorrow, I promise. Mom shoved a hundred dollar bill in my hand and walked away. And after that day, Evelyn just got worse. Every time Nolan came to visit, Evelyn would interrupt our conversations, spill drinks on our clothes, throw things in our face, and if nothing worked, she'd start screaming the lines from her show. What? I'm giving you guys a private show. Enjoy it. I wanted to slap Evelyn hard, but Mom always threw herself between us and gave me some stupid excuse for Evelyn's behavior. But things really hit the roof when the school year ended, and my parents threw me a huge party for acing my exams. I was getting ready when Evelyn walked in. You should be in jail for wearing that dress. What do you want? To save you from ruining my reputation. Please let me pick something nice for you and fix your hair. And why would I take your help? Because you like Nolan, and you want him to notice you. And I know exactly how you can do that. Okay, you have my attention. Perfect, let's give you a makeover. I was confused by her change in attitude, but she did have good taste, so I went along. She pulled out a curling iron and was working on my hair when suddenly I smelled smoke. I ran a hand through my hair and half of it fell off. Oops, maybe I used too much heat. I screamed, cried, and ran around the room. Mom came running, and when she realized what had happened, she quickly started doing damage control. She cut off the rest of my hair to make it even, but I looked like a walking cone head. I was so embarrassed when I walked down the stairs, even my dog didn't recognize me. 
Just then I caught Evelyn in the corner with this weird grin on her face, and I grabbed her by the hair. You did it on purpose, didn't you? Olivia, leave me alone. What are you doing? I lunged at her, and we got into a huge fight. The party was an epic fail, and Evelyn tried apologizing to me after. But of course, she didn't mean it. I refused to listen to a word. And after that, I stopped talking to her altogether and avoided her like the plague. Thank God I had Nolan as a great distraction. In 12th grade, I started a summer internship at an observatory. On the first day, all the new interns were paired up with lab partners to tackle research projects, and the best one would be published in a super fancy science paper. I was partnered with a boy named Aaron. I think we're gonna ace this research because your mind is out of this world. Get it? Out of this world? Like aliens? Uh, that was pretty lame, right? I've heard worse. Aaron was smart, and together we were the best team. But writing a research paper was a lot of work, and I wasn't able to spend much time with Nolan. The night before we had to submit the research, Aaron and I were going over last-minute changes, and it was late by the time I got home. Even my phone had died, and when I recharged it, I saw Nolan had called and texted me a lot. That's when it hit me. It was Nolan's birthday, and we were supposed to meet at a restaurant hours earlier. I called him immediately, but he ignored my calls, so I went to his place. I'm the worst friend ever. I'm so sorry. I waited all night like a loser. Aaron had some important stuff to discuss about the research. Oh, Aaron had important stuff to discuss, so you forgot my birthday? Hope you two had a good time. Then Nolan just slammed the door in my face. Feeling bummed, I walked back to my house and bumped right into Evelyn. Wow, you look like you've eaten a thousand chilies. Have you been crying? Want to talk about it? Stuff your face with ice cream? It'll make you feel better. Just leave me alone, Evelyn. I spent the next week trying to make it right with Nolan, but he was still distant. Soon I got some really good news. Our research paper had won. Aaron and I decided to have a party at the observatory to celebrate, and thankfully Nolan accepted my invitation. Even my parents and Evelyn showed up. Everything was going great, till Nolan left to get some drinks. And then Aaron walked up to me, pulled me in, and kissed me on the lips. What are you doing? What? Your sister told me you liked me, but were too shy to ask me out. Before I could react, I saw Nolan staring at us from across the room. He turned to leave, but I caught up with him. Where are you going? Back home. You have Aaron to keep you company. You don't need me. Nolan, you got it all wrong. I'm not an idiot, Olivia. I saw you two kissing, and I get it. You like him, and that's fine. It's not like you and I are together. I just need to go. Nolan left, and after that he refused to take my calls or see me. I was so mad at Evelyn, I wanted to throw her in a shredder. But when I got home, she and Mom had already left for Paris for a photo shoot. The last couple of weeks at the internship with Aaron were awkward, and we didn't keep in touch after. But to my dismay, Nolan now had a girlfriend that Evelyn never failed to rub in my face. I caught the two of them making out last night on the roof of such cuties. Look, I even clicked a picture. You're sick, Evelyn. First you lied to Aaron that I liked him and drove Nolan away, and now you're rubbing his new girlfriend in my face? I didn't drive anyone away. Nolan was just way out of your league anyway, says the girl he rejected on her face. That's just because he has bad taste. Not bad enough to date you, but still bad. Anyway, I have a shoot tomorrow and I need my beauty sleep. But the next morning, I woke up to Evelyn screaming like a maniac. One of her co-stars claimed that during their time together on set, Evelyn swapped her shampoo bottle with hair remover. Another colleague said Evelyn spiked her food with chili powder, making her sick and miss a huge audition. The whole media was exploding with hatred for Evelyn, and of course, she denied it. How dare they? I never did any of that. Why are they lying? But no matter what she said, Evelyn's reputation was done for. She got kicked out of her show, and no one wanted to work with her. She was devastated and hardly left her room. Even though I knew Evelyn deserved it, I kind of felt bad for her. Then one night, I was walking back home by myself after watching a vampire movie with some friends when suddenly I heard some rustling behind me. I turned around to look, and I saw a white figure hovering in the air. I panicked and ran for my life and crashed right into Nolan. Ollie, are you okay? A ghost! There's a ghost following me! It's here to skin me alive and drink my blood! You mean that trash bag? I turned around and saw that it was indeed a large white trash bag flying around in the breeze. And the two of us started laughing like crazy. We decided to get some coffee, and it felt great reconnecting with him. Um, so, how's the girlfriend? We broke up. And Aaron? We don't talk anymore. Nolan, that kiss with Aaron. You don't owe me an explanation, Ollie. It's not like we were together then. But we can be now. I've always liked you, Ollie. You think we can give us a shot? I think I really like that. For our first official date, Nolan made reservations at a really fancy restaurant. My parents were out of town for a wedding, and I'd left Evelyn sulking alone at home. But halfway through dinner, I suddenly got a call from the police. Apparently, someone had broken into our house, smashed things, and attacked Evelyn. Nolan and I rushed and saw her covered in bruises, unconscious. 
The police then showed us the neighbor's security camera that caught a weird creature running out of our house. Is that an alien? Whoa. We didn't have time to go through every detail and rushed Evelyn to the hospital. Doctors told us that her injuries weren't serious, but she needed rest. But the news that Evelyn was attacked by an alien was spreading like wildfire. After that, a dozen reporters showed up at our house to interview her. How did the alien look? Did he walk or fly? Um, it was an alien? I'm not sure. I can't remember what happened. She's in shock, poor baby. Maybe you guys can come back later. With all these stupid theories floating around, Evelyn's popularity was rising by the minute. She was on all the talk shows and getting interviewed by famous magazines, and Mom accompanied her everywhere. At first, she had said she didn't remember anything, but now she was making up bizarre stories. So this was a big creature, and at first I was really scared. But then I remembered my jujitsu training, and I conquered my fear and fought with that thing. Let me show you. Kaya, hiya! Soon she was being lauded as a hero, and even landed a major role in an alien movie. But I could tell something didn't sound right. Maybe she's telling the truth? You know, there's been news of possible alien sightings around this area for months. And well, I believe in aliens. Kinda. Yeah, me too. But she's literally changed her story a hundred times. Her fans might be stupid, but I'm not. I just know she's lying. I decided to do my own investigation and snuck into Evelyn's room. I searched everywhere, but then I found something hidden under a loose floorboard. A box with a baseball bat and an alien costume. Armed with the evidence, I confronted Evelyn. What's this? A bad Halloween costume, why? I found this in your room, Evelyn. You lied to the whole world about getting attacked by an alien. But it was you, wasn't it? Why? Am I supposed to tell you that when I don't know what happened either? Drop the act, or I swear I will go to the paparazzi outside and tell them that you faked the alien attack to get publicity. I turned to leave, but Evelyn grabbed my hand and started crying. I swear I don't know what actually happened that night. I've been having blackouts for years, Ollie, ever since I started acting. I know that it was wrong to lie about this alien attack, but my career was tanking. I saw an opportunity and took it. And if you spill the truth now, my career will be over. And how am I supposed to believe you now, since you've lied about everything else? Because it's the truth. Mom went inside her room and came out with a medical report that mentioned Evelyn had dissociative personality disorder. The report said that Evelyn had created a second persona who was perfect at her job, ruthless to everyone she thought of as competition, and triggered when she felt rejected or sad. What? Since when have you known this? Since Evelyn's co-stars accused her of tampering with her shampoo. I knew something was wrong ever since we started working, but I assumed it was stress. But then this news about her colleagues broke out and she lost all her work. When she pulled off that alien stunt, I realized that this could be an opportunity to regain popularity, so I asked her to lie to the public. I know it was wrong, and I'm sorry. I can't believe you kept this from us, Mom! Why would you do something so horrible? I have always just wanted Evelyn to be successful, and to prove it to your dad that she is as good as you. He always put her down, and that broke her self-confidence. I couldn't let that happen again. But what you did was wrong, Mom! You, you made my condition worse! Mom kept apologizing, but all of us were furious at her. Evelyn left for rehab soon after, and it took some time, but after therapy and medication, she started to get better. Mom begged and cried for forgiveness, and it took some time, but eventually Dad and I forgave her. Then one evening, Nolan and I were sitting in the park when someone jumped on me from the bushes. Evelyn! Oh, gosh! You scared the crabs out of me! When did you get back from rehab? Just now. And I have to say, I missed your stupid face. I know I should have said it sooner, but I'm sorry, Ollie, for all the times I've been a miserable sister to you. It's okay, all in the past. Really? You're the sweetest. Here, I got you a present. I opened the box she gave me, and a toy clown flew into my face. I chased Evelyn around as Nolan laughed hysterically. <laughs> Guess some things never change.